Good evening, I'm Kristen Price and for Tammy Melchok. And I'm Jim Scott. Our top story tonight after a good soaking last night, the rain has dried up for the most part here on the valley floor, but we've still seen some fresh snow today in our local mountains. Kern County Mountains certainly picking up some good snow last night, specifically the Greenhorn Mountains west of the Kern River Valley. About eight inches of snow fell around Alta Sierra Ski Resort overnight. That's where we find 17's meteorologist Kurt Kelsey. We nearly made it to the top today to check out ski conditions, but didn't quite make it, right, Kurt? Well, Jim, it is, first things first, it's freezing cold up here, and our goal today was to make it to the top of the mountain to check in on the ski resort and check out those conditions. A little bit unsafe to go on up there, but we got in touch with one of the owners, John Paveltich, and he tells me last night's 8 inches puts him at about 14 inches total at the base of the mountain there uh, for the ski resort, and he says that's still not enough to ski safely. As we traveled up the 155 from the Kern River Valley, snow levels increased. So much so, we found snowboarders enjoying the fresh powder as we approached the summit. It's nice uh, uh, being as we've been in a drought and um, plenty of fresh powder out there, so good snowboarding right now. Hopefully we'll get Alta Sierra open soon. We're standing here on the 155, just miles from the summit near Alta Sierra, and although the road is nice and plowed, it's the layer of ice underneath that actually is what prevented us from making it to the top near the ski resort. John Paveltich, an owner of the ski resort, told us the resort is ready to open equipment-wise. They just need more snow, and they don't plan on making any to conserve water. So for now, snow enthusiasts will have to enjoy the snow elsewhere, which isn't so bad. In fact, the beauty may leave you speechless. <sighs> I, I don't know, I can't even describe it. It's just all white, man. Just all snow. Paveltich tells me the ski resort was open for about six days three years ago, and since then, it's been closed. Now, this weekend's storm, if it comes to fruition and provides them with a few more inches of snow, he, pl he says he plans on opening the ski resort the day after Christmas. Live in the middle of the Greenhorn Mountains on a freezing cold night, I'm Kurt Kelsey, meteorologist for 17 News.